so much motherfucking design on right now. Alright, so you want to start off by um, <coughs> creating a new composition. Uh, I call it tutorial. And you'll need a background and a transparent PNG, PNG file of the character you want to use. Let's just start off by dragging this in here. Bring this to the left, hold shift to, um, to kind of snap it in place. Mm. Right there, seems fine. Then what you want to do is, is duplicate this. By pressing Ctrl D, and then you get the other one. Hold Shift again, and drag it to the right until it's it looks fine. Mm. Yep, looks perfect. What we want to do now is grab the character, put this over here, put it above these two um, backgrounds, and scale it down. Obviously, so go up here, type scale. Let's go like 55%. And drag it over here. This looks good to me. So now I have that. Um, we want to add our um, edited by text. So what you want to do is create a new text layer. Type uh, edited by. Let's go for a Covetica font. Mm. Over here and make this like 60 pixels drag it over here it's kind of barely visible but we'll change that later um, what we want to do now is add let me see some drop shadow let's drag it on here I have a preset for this so just copy my settings These are the settings. What we want to do now is add a skew to it. So type in transform, drag it out to edit it by, and put the skew as negative 10, I think I used. Yep, and then drag it up a bit. Oh. Looks good. Um, now we want to duplicate this twice by pressing Ctrl D twice. And move this, sorry, move this down, changing this to like 150 pixels. I used a different font for my own name, so we can use uh, Ninja Naruto and just type your name. Mm. The zero looks, the O looks better instead of a zero. Um, just drag it down here and get the other one for like your Twitter or whatever. And put it below it. Just play with this for a bit. Change this to like at no FN. So now we got this, but it's still kind of hard to see if you know what I mean and we can fix this by just changing the brightness of this background so go to effects use that bright drag it oh drag it onto these two backgrounds change the brightness to like 0 0.4 might be a bit too much yeah it's a bit too much maybe 0 0.6 Maybe a bit more. Really depends on your background. That looks good. Alright, perfect. So now I have this. Um, let's keep this as a composition. What you want to do now is uh, create another new composition. Call it um, animation. And drag this tutorial into here. Now I want to make like, the bar that makes it drag open pretty much. Put a shape layer this you have to play around with it how thick you want it and it really depends on the size of your card pretty much you can click on this to make it transparent it's easier to see and we're just gonna play for this for a bit
Alright, that looks just about right. It's um, as big as the background itself. Um, you can change the color by typing color here and going to some orangey color like you know, something like this. And copy paste this into the other one. Now I have this orangey color which kind of fits the theme. What you want to do now is um, click on this, type position. And we want to bring this, hold shift and click, bring it all the way over here. Let go, keyframe the position, go to around one second, and pull it all the way over here, again holding shift. And until like um, the card basically stops, so right to the right to the right side of the card, sorry. And so basically what we have now is a simple sweep, but that looks kind of scuffed so we can just easy ease this change the velocity to 100% incoming hundred percent incoming and 0.01% outgoing that looks much better yep and go to around three seconds that's where you want it to come back right here but you don't want it to go back immediately, so you can copy paste this by pressing Control C. Go to like maybe over here, left click and Control V to paste it. Click on this first, and then you should have something like this. This part looks kind of fast as well. You kind of want to slow it down at the end a bit, so it looks more clean. Velocity, um, we can make it like. 80 and 0.1%. Still kind of fast. Um, what we can do is move this one to the right so we're slower. Yep, that's good. We'll move this bit to the left because it's, it's a bit long. Alright, looks good to me. What we want to do now is create a mask, so go to this uh, rectangle tool, create a huge mask right here, drag it under ship layer 1 but above tutorial, and go to track mat tutorial, click on alpha inverted, and what you want to do is get the shape layer, and you want to um, align the left side of this, so the left bar, with the um, whatever you're using, like the bar to to reveal the card basically. So shift click until it touches here, around there. What you want to do then is parent pick whip this to ship layer one, and then it should look like something like this. And that's basically the intro. All you want to do now is add a um, pretty much a light sweep so we can pre compose this once again. Uh, action, I need. Uh, just make a new composition, call it light sweep, drag in the animation, should have this, go to effects, uh, look for light sweep, drag it on. All I want to do now is change the center. We want it to start somewhere. I guess over here, so that it sweeps the whole thing. Um, just keyframe the center. Oh wait, hold on. You want to see where it starts first. Let's make it start here. So keyframe from here. Mm, Some over there. And just make it go all the way past. Just have something like this. And that's a bit, mm, a bit fast. So maybe move this a bit to the left that looks fine so this is your intro what we want to do now is go to file export add to render queue output module format quicktime channels rgb plus alpha press ok output to whatever you want and then render this out once it's done rendering, um, you can go ahead and import it to Vegas. 
So once you're in Vegas, you want to um, import your intro. I forgot to hurry that mine, so mine's still called Light Sweep, but that's okay. Um, insert a new video track. Drag it in. Uh, for you guys, it will not look like this. It will look um, like this. I got some. It will be black. So what you want to do is just right click, properties, disable resample, go to media, field order. Oh, sorry, not field order. Alpha, alpha channel, and go to straight. Press OK, and this is your intro. I got so much more to design on right now. Let's watch it one more time. I got so much more to design on right now. So that's the intro, guys. Um, thanks for watching, and see ya.